If you see these horizontal tail lights, you know what time it is. on the track. All right, what's up my people? We are here with my man Giovanni. I am privileged for this young man to come out and um, give me an opportunity to check out this beautiful black SN95. Now, you know, my heart is with the push rods and he has a beautiful one right here. So Giovanni, why don't you tell us a little bit about what your ride is right here? All right, so this is my 94 um, SN95 GT. Um, it has, it's fully built, um, it has, SR Performance cold air intake, 75 mil throttle body, um, along with a uh, 5.0 Cobra liter manifold. Um, it also has shorty headers. Um, I put that brand new um, MSD spark plug rotor cap along with the spark plug wires. Um, it's on 3.55 uh, gears. And um, yeah, it's also on full coilovers um, with caster camera plays. Now, how long have you had this car? I've had this car for a few months. A few months. Mm -hmm. And is this like a cruiser, street car? What is it? Um, I would say it's my daily car in high school. Daily car in high school. How cool is it to, <laughs> to have a muscle car at high school like i know this has got to make you stand out because i'm right. pretty sure a lot of people have like the tuna cars or something like that right so what is it that got you into mustangs um well my uncle he got me into mustangs um he's had mustangs throughout his whole life he has multiple he had multiple fox bodies um then he had a 02 supercharged gt um and now he has two terminator cobras one's a 04 mr chrome cobra and the other is a 03 10th anniversary Cobra. Now, out of all those, which one were you able to, to drive? Um, I haven't driven any of them yet. <laughs> I haven't driven any. And this is a five speed, right? Yeah, this is a five speed. T5? Yep. And how did you learn how to drive a stick? Um, well, my grandfather, he had a 01 Red Corvette 06, and that's kind of how I started. And then I, you know, made my way to this Mustang. Now, you got a couple of custom pieces in this interior. You want to tell us about it? Um, sure. So I got the top clock piece. Um, I got it from Special Carbon Fiber online, and they make multiple pieces for 94 through 98 uh, Mustangs. And then the middle um, center piece I got from a guy out in Mexico who custom made it for me. Um, and it fits perfectly. 
the previous owner put on a boost gauge, wide band, and a fuel gauge. Um, I believe that it was supercharged before because the stock airbox was in perfect condition with the sticker intact and everything. Um, so I believe at one point there was a blower on this car. Now tell me about these wheels. Like I've seen this car online a bunch of times on Instagram, but shout out to Instagram real quick. Um, my Instagram is 5OGT. And these SVEs, now are the, what series SVEs are these? I believe they're series three. They're series three. And up front, you've got a little upgrade to go along with the with the wheels. Yep. Now these are what, a Cobra dual pistons? Yep. Nice. Now when did you end up doing these? Um, I did those uh, actually uh, a few weeks ago, or a month ago about, I think a few weeks ago. Um, and my buddy Kevin helped me put them on. Nice. And this thing, like, the stance on it is, is perfect for me. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's on coilovers with caster camera plates. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this is a beautiful car, man. Like, I've, like I said, I've, I've followed you online on Instagram for a while. And seeing it in person is just as beautiful as online. Thank you, man. And you've got the S281 wing back here. Yep, I do. Did it come like that, or did you do that? Um, I originally had the GT wing on it, and then... Kind of got sick of that one, so I went ahead and put the Celine wing on. Nice. To me, it's it, this is the best spoiler that you can buy on these SN95s. Mm -hmm. And I love the tail lights. Thank you. Hey, so since you got me out here, you mind taking me for a ride in this sure. thing? No problem. Like one of the biggest things I love about these early SN95s is just the sound of a push rod motor. Especially one that's cam, like you just, oh, yeah. you can't replicate that with with these modern, you know, I love, don't get me wrong, I love Coyotes, mm -hmm. but it's just the sound of like a push rod motor, especially when you have this exhaust on it, cammed up, Oh yeah, it's beautiful. I know this is like a 20 something year old car, oh, yeah. but you put these push rods together, combination rods, correctly, Right. this can be a strong car to deal with on the street. You know, these things are relatively light mm -hmm. in factory form. Oh yeah, I believe they're 3,000 something pounds. Yeah, yep. you know, you put some aluminum heads on here, cam it up which my man Giovanni has done right here. Oh yeah. And this car pulls. Yeah. Like, is this gonna be like the fastest thing on the street? No. Mm -hmm. But, stoplight to stoplight, you put the right gear on here. Right. This thing is something to deal with, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely has some power. I mean, even back then, these things were fast for, you know, their time, you know? And I'm sure you get this a lot, you know, in this area. You know, people will see you in a 27 year old Mustang, and I'm sure they might try to test you a lot. Sure, yep, they definitely do. <laughs> they'll, get, they'll get next to me and start revving and stuff, you know? Yeah. Now, that's not a stock shifter, is it? Nope, that's a short throw shifter. Yep. Nice. You took this car to Bleed for Blue Fest. You had a dyno, right? Yep, yep. It laid down 283 wheel horsepower. Was that before you um, did the intake and exhaust, or was that yep, after? Before, yep. So you know, in 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 all reality, this thing is probably a little bit over 300 horsepower now. Yep, yep. Now, did you get it tuned? Um, it has never been tuned. Never been tuned. Yeah, and see, you know, once you get it tuned, that'll give you a nice little boost in uh, horsepower. Definitely, yep. So if you didn't get it tuned, you just run it in with the uh, distributor lockout? Right, yep. Yeah, that's the thing with these um, these early 5.0s. Like, it's, you can go get it tuned, but there's so many tricks to squeeze power out of these things, like locking the time in, 
basically all the little things that you've done to it already. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. One, one thing I want to do in the future is, you know, move from my 355 gears to 373s, give it a little bit more torque. Yeah, it's just that in itself will make this thing pull even harder. Oh yeah. Are you gonna keep this thing? I'm gonna keep it until I die. <laughs> All right, that's, I die. That's, yeah. that's what I like to hear. Oh yeah. You know, when I'm doing a Mustang, you don't want to get rid of it. You want to add on. You know what I mean? Now, if budget wasn't an issue, what would you do? Um, probably end up supercharging it. Vortec One supercharger, and I think it'd be all set. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's funny that you mentioned that because I'm actually starting to do research on that myself. Yep. Hey, I gotta say, like this, this was a great ride. I really oh, appreciate yeah. you, Giovanni, for sure. coming out Thank doing you. this. Thank you for doing this for me. Thank you. You wanna um, shout out anything that you're doing? Instagram, social um, media. Sure. Yeah. So go follow my Instagram. Um, it's five O G T, and um, yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. So awesome. next year we're gonna get together. We're gonna do some cruising, and I'm, I'm hopefully, hopefully by then he'll have that 373 and that blower on here. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. hey, I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Tell a couple of friends about the channel. Um, you don't have to subscribe. I'm not gonna subscribe or bash you, but you know, just watch the videos, hang out with us, and we're gonna continue to bring you more content like this. So appreciate your time, and God bless. Awesome. Awesome.